Linny the Lemur Goes to Space, written by Adam Boxer, illustrated by Annalise Wills. Linny was a lemur, a happy young lemur with a long and black and white tail. His eyes were big, as big as his dreams to leave and blaze his own trail. Linny dreamed of life beyond the forest, of rockets and stars and space. He wished one day he could find a way to take flight and visit that place. Do you think Linny can go to space? I don't know. A place beyond clouds and mountains, beyond the rivers and trees, and Linny's eyes grow big and wide, telling others about what he sees. That's Orion's belt up there, and that's the Big Dipper, he says. But the other lemurs weren't listening to Linny. They just yawned and shook their heads. They're bored? Uninterested? What's so great about space, Linny? What's up there that's so good? Lemurs don't go to space, Linny. It's time that you understood. It made Lenny sad that his friends didn't share his excitement for a world beyond here. He was sad for a while, but that turned to surprise as he wiped away his last tear. Do his friends believe in him? No, and it makes him feel sad. For there, in a clearing, taller than trees, was a rocket all shiny and new. A seat big enough for small lemurs and a special small lemur space suit. Now Lenny had read every space book there was. He knew how to make this thing go. He looked around for the big red button. He found it, he pushed it, and whoa! What happens when he pushes it? He takes off. Do you think it's really that easy to operate a rocket? <laughs> no. No book could tell Lenny how quickly the rocket would take to the stars. The forest had gone, the moon was past, and soon he'd raced beyond Mars. He soared as the skies turned from black to purple, then he saw a small planet of green. His rocket beamed down as quick as a flash, and he couldn't believe what he'd seen. What do you think he sees? A small planet of lemur explorers of every color and shade. Stripes of blue and red and gold, of chrome, of yellow and jade. Welcome, Lenny. We've waited for you, our greatest explorer from Earth. We know that you've dreamed to follow the stars. You've dreamed of this moment from birth. How do they know that? Lenny was shocked. He could hardly speak, but he managed to smile and wave. Come on, Linny, please come this way. We'll show you to your very own cave. Now, earth-dwelling lemurs live in the trees, all around them glowing with sun. The cave was pretty, but looking for trees, Linny realized there simply were none. Oh, it's very different than what he's used to. Do you think he might get a little homesick? That evening, the lemurs had a party and celebrated with lots of food. The colors, the brightness, the music, there was such a wonderful mood. But Lenny grew sad once more as he started to feel all alone. Exploring is fun, he said to himself, but sometimes there's nowhere like home. He does miss his home. So he thanked his new friends, each and every one, and he promised he'd come back soon. But he hopped and skipped towards his rocket, and before long he'd shot past the moon. He touched down in a clearing among the trees, and his earth lemur friends came bounding. Lenny, oh Lenny, where have you been? We watched your rocket going, then landing. I saw planets in faraway places, said Linny. I saw tales of gold and chrome. And he finally told them, exploring is fun, but sometimes there's nowhere like home. Did he give up his interest in space? 
No, he still looks at the planets and the stars, but now he's in the comfort of his home. I love that he didn't give up on his dreams, and even though his friends didn't believe in him and thought that his dreams were kind of silly, he made it happen. One other thing that I really love about this story is the author, Adam Boxer, actually wrote it for his daughter, um, and he combined a lemur going to space because those are two of his daughter's interests. So that's pretty awesome because what better way to get your child interested in reading than writing a book about some of their favorite things? Lenny the lemur goes to space.